Hello everyone. In this video, we will be discussing about two design procedures. That is the design of a circumferential lap joint and design of a lozen joint. So already in video 4, we had a discussion on a design of a longitudinal butt joint. So these two will be the uh, uh, continuation of uh, those uh, design video and it is almost similar to the previous video. So first we will discuss about the design of a circumferential lap joint on the boiler. As we know that uh, this circumferential lap joint indicates where all the cylinders, that is the, 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 the different panels like cylinder 1, cylinder 2, cylinder 3, what, when, what and all we have uh, made it and we will be uh, overlapping each other and finally we will be making uh, the, the final product uh, by inserting uh, or overlapping with uh, each other. So, the very first uh, design is thing, but thickness of the shell and the diameter of the rivets. So, we know that uh, the thickness of the boiler shell and the diameter of the rivet will be same as the, for the launch signal joint. So, what is the thickness value? The thickness value recommended is usually greater than 7 mm, but uh, technically speaking, it is 8 mm or more. And the number of rivets. So, since it is a lamp joint, uh, the rivets will be the single shear. So, because there will not be any connecting, uh, that is, uh, a cover plate or the strap so what is the single shear will be there and the formula to find out that one is ps is equal to n into pi by 4 d square into tau where n is nothing but total number of rivets and d is nothing but the diameter of the hole which we are finding out by using the unwinds formula uh, that is uh, uh, 6 square root of uh, t or h which is nothing but the, the diameter of uh, uh, sorry, 6 square root of uh, t where uh, the diameter of the rivet and uh, the second one uh, to find out the the n value again we have the formula that is w s is equal to pi by 4 t square into p uh, this is the second equation so by using this equation 1 and 2 where uh, the number of rivets value can be calculated the equation is uh, the capital d by small d square uh, into p by uh, tau p is nothing but pitch and tau is nothing but the shear where the diameter of the rivet hole and the diameter of the rivet is denoted as capital t and small d Next was nothing but pitch of the rivets. So when we discussed the failure, this was the important factors where we have considered. So we know that 50% of the tearing efficiency in longitudinal joint, but if it is more than, uh, uh, but it is more in uh, circumferential joint, then uh, the intermediate joint percentage is recommended as 62%. So the pitch of the rivets for the lab joint may be obtained by using this relation that is P1 minus D divided by P1. And uh, the next uh, step is nothing but uh, uh, number of rows. The number of rows or uh, rivets of the circumferential joint may be obtained by the following relation that is, uh, total number of rivets divided by the number of rivets in one row. And the equation to find out uh, the inner row diameter is uh, pi into t plus t divided by p1 because uh, we will be knowing what is t and we will be knowing what is p1 and number of rows also already is decided. So, by using this formula, we will be finding out the inner diameter indirectly. And the fifth one is nothing but after finding out the number of rows and the type of joint, whether it is single riveted and double riveted, uh, maybe we will be deciding. And later, the number of rivets in each row, the pitch may be readjusted. And in order to have a leak proof joint, the pitch for the joint should be checked from Indian boiler regulations where we have replacing the value 2 with 1.875. And the sixth one is nothing but the distance between the row of rivets, that is the back pitch, uh, which is calculated by using the formula 0.33p plus 0.67t. So, after knowing the distance between the row of rivets, uh, the overlap of the plate may be fixed by using the relation uh, number of uh, rivets minus 1 into pp plus m, where m is nothing but the margin. Even there are several ways of joining the longitudinal joint and circumferential joint, but one of the methods of joining the longitudinal and circumferential joint is the method what we are discussing. And this is the table. Uh, where uh, the pressure values uh, of the boilers uh, is uh, recommended for the different types of the joint and based on the thickness. You can able to see double riveted, triple riveted and quadruple riveted and accordingly the thickness of the shell is also recommended and uh, the diameter of the shells in meters also is recommended. So I think now you would have understood uh, what is the, uh, uh, the purpose of doing this particular design uh, considering the, the thickness of the, the sheet. Then Moving to the, the next design procedure, uh, that is uh, design of a uniform uh, strength joint for the structural use only. And uh, this uh, uniform strength is also called as a low strength joint because he is the one uh, who uh, discovered or uh, who invented this particular method. That is why it is also called as a low strength joint. 
and usually it is uh, recommended for the roof purpose bridge works or for the uh, girders so this is uh, recommended uh, in the why it is called as a lozenge joint means here the diamond riveting is uh, employed and unlike the previous like chain riveting and such that here the diamond riveting is uh, recommended and here i will be going with uh, a diamond shape only where it is a triple riveted a bud joint as we know that when we speak about the bud joint where the, only the one side of the plate riveting should be considered you can able to see the triple riveted bud joint where i will be denoting the b as the width of the plate t is the thickness of the plate and small d is the diameter of the rivet hole and the unwind spot by it is a 6 uh, a square root of t or square root of h anything is fine d uh, where you can able to see b is nothing but the width and t is nothing but the thickness so here i am not uh, uh, discussing about the thickness of the, the cover plates uh, mostly the thickness of the cover plates uh, will be lesser than the thickness of the main plates so looking at the drawing we can able to understand and the shearing resistance of one rivet the formula is 1.75 into pi by 4 into t square into tau and the crushing resistance for one rivet formula is d into t into sigma t so and the number of rivets required for the joint is pt divided by uh, least of the pt and the pc so from the number of rivets the number of rows and the number of uh, 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 rivet on each row is decided and fourth and fifth one is the thickness of the butt straps and the efficiency of the joint where the thickness of the butt strap uh, is denoted as a T1 and uh, for the single cover strap it is 1.25 of uh, the main thing uh, I mean the thickness of the plate and for the double cover strap it is 0 0.75 of uh, thickness and the efficiency of a joint can be calculated based on the different sections uh, where uh, for the 1 1 section the formula is p t1 equal to b minus d into t into sigma t and for the 2 2 section it is a Sections means here I am talking about uh, uh, these one section 1, section 2, section 3. This is section 1, 1, section 2, 2, and section 3, 3. It is mandatory to calculate it uh, individually, the efficiency of the joint, and this is all the formulas is recommended. And similarly, at section C3, there are three rivet holes, so the resistance of the joints are tearing along C3. And uh, here we been able to see already for the two uh, section 1, section 2 to be discussed. And for section 3, 3, it is B minus 3D because three uh, rivet uh, holes are there. So B minus 3D into T into sigma T plus the strength of three rivets in the uh, front section of the 3, 3. So after finding out all this. Uh, uh, values we have to find out uh, uh, the strength of the untiveted plate by using the formula which is equal to uh, width into thickness into sigma t so finally the efficiency of the joint can be calculated uh, by using the formula the least of uh, the uh, the pt value pt2 value pt3 value and ps into pc by p so by using this formula only the final value is uh, uh, calculated and here uh, it is not mandatory that uh, uh, this particular uh, design procedure is applicable only for the three rows, need not be, and even uh, it can be applicable even for four rows, five rows, five, six rows. I'm talking about even the butt joint single plate only, and the number of rivets in each row will vary. Say, for example, uh, here you can able to see the second row where uh, two rivet uh, joints are there. You can able to see two rivet joints are there. So that is why the formula is B minus 2D into T. In case instead of two, if it is 4 or if it is 3 or if it is some other number of rivet splits then accordingly the formula will vary and for any one side uh, this can be recommended and uh, this is very very important design procedure in the exam point of view so I request everyone to go through this particular uh, design procedure and uh, almost the same procedure only uh, will be following except a few changes in the formula that we will be deciding based on the given uh, question conditions. So with this I will be winding up uh, this video, thank you.